Hi. Uh, Hi, Richard. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I heard you guys had some technical issues. You ready to go? Oh, I was ready. I said, I joked with them. I said, it's not a normal day if I'm not waiting for Richard to show up to work, is it? Oh, oh. 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 Well, speaking of guys, uh, first of all, congratulations on the new season. Uh, Brianna and Roger have come a long way, I think. They seem really settled, really supportive of each other. So I think because you guys are older and wiser, we're going to look back on their um, kind of key moments. And we're going to play a little who was wrong, Brianna or Roger. (laughs) Oh, you know how heated this could get. I know. I'm ready. I'm ready. (laughs) Okay. So okay. you guys just point to who you think was wrong. We have to be honest about it, though, Sophie. Okay. No, yeah, it needs I, to be objective and I honest. Don't think, yeah. I don't think either of you have a problem with honesty. So here we go. Yeah, this is true. When Roger refuses to sleep with Brianna, unless she agrees to marry him in season four, who was wrong and why? He's not wrong in the, I don't disagree with people feeling that way, but the fact he'd slept with people before... And then he got all judgy about Brie. But Brie was different, oh. though. And, but he saw Brianna in a different light. He'd fallen in love with her. He cares more for her. He's more... But because he cares for her, she doesn't get to have sex. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, cool, cool, not cool. until... He, all he wants to do is put a ring on it. So he liked it, and he's trying to put a ring on it. And Brianna basically threw it in his face, and it was a wee shame for him. Oh, but Sophie, he just I, quoted Beyonce. So, like... What are yeah. we doing? I went, my dad went... I think I can see I can see the the point from both sides. I re- I really can. I think Roger went in with this really traditional approach. I could see why he did it. You know, he's fallen in love with her. He wants to do things right. He wants to do things traditionally, more in line with maybe how he's brought up and what his idea of the right thing to do in that situation is with this girl who's it's quite unique to him. He's not fallen in love before. He certainly hasn't felt this way about anyone before and, and he's kind of gone head over heels and thinks oh, I want to do everything right and try to be a bit of a, perfect, a perfectionist about it and I think that's maybe been to a fault really so I mean, I'm, I'm more I'm more on the, I'm more on the Brianna's probably slightly more right here uh, Roger sorry did, can you say that one more time <laughs> who, uh, who was wrong <laughs> I, 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 I finished my answer so <laughs> Well, Sophie, I think we got what we needed there. there um, okay, so when Roger, it was a crap. <laughs> when Roger didn't tell Brianna when he knew about her parents dying in a fire, who was wrong? That's a you know, I actually, I kind of agree with Roger on that one. I do, because I think it, there's nothing Brie could have done. Well, I guess she could have done something to change it. But I think he was, I think that was a fair way of protecting her. Claire had made her decision to go back and live that life. And I think, Roger was trying to protect Brianna and their future by not telling her. So I kind of, I, I think, yeah, I'm sorry. Right. We'll let him off on that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm with Roger. That sounds good. That sounds good. Roger I think that's that. fair. I'm just so happy Richard kind of, you know, gave us the previous one a little bit. I know. I don't know what did you pay? <laughs> did you do that? I mean, <laughs> I know. I, I, um, okay, <laughs> guys. So <laughs> after all these years, what's your favorite thing about working with each other? So oh. you um you're very funny Richard he's very funny oh, he had a okay. hysterics on set so I'll give him that I'll give him that Thanks. equal med is annoying but very funny you know she can't just let you have it I can't just let you have it <laughs> no, no she, um oh that's a that's a that's a tough one my favorite thing so I need to come up with at least two things to have a favorite thing right yeah um no, so- Sophie does look after me on set to her credit. I mean, I wouldn't know what date was most of the time, if not for Sophie. She knows the schedule. She knows what we're shooting. She knows what scene we're doing. I often look to her for some context. Like, what are we doing? What's yeah. happening tomorrow? Um, <laughs> so she kind of keeps me in check. And uh, otherwise, I'd just go off wandering into the woods. You would <laughs> I'd just get lost wandering away with my camera. Sophie frequently yeah. has me on. That's nice. You're, she's like your GPS long. system. Actually, do you know what else I do yeah. for him? Is hide his camera bag because often it'll be in the back of a shot. And I'm like, I'm just going to just be true. Shot. I just need this. Like, oh, yeah, that is in shot. It's been quite bad season six. So I have to apologize for that. I, I'm, normally, I'm normally more vigilant than that. But yeah. no, 
the shield. Was, I was, like it. You're like continuity too. That's right. Important. I just saved production about hundred thousand pounds to take a camera bag out of shop. So I'm just making rich money, basically. You get a portion of that. You should have got some of that so far. I, do you know what? I thought that. I ask for half of. Real commission for everything. I Season take seven, out. you can re up that in your contract. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so Sophie, this season we see Brianna come into her own a bit. Um, and I have to ask, you know, she came back from the past to save her parents from a fire. And now it seems to me like she actually might be the hero and the villain. Um, ah. What can you tease about that? I did. We did joke about this. We did it's joke like about Brianna's that. come back to save her parents from a fire. I've invented matches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's invented a fire extinguisher, but I like your thinking. Um, but <laughs> yeah, we did we did talk about that one. So let's see how that unfolds. <laughs> and we never well, passed comment on it either. I don't think. <laughs> no, they, should have you know, we're just like, no. oh wow, you've invented matches. How is it your parents have to die yeah. again? <laughs> I and you're playing your... with sulfur. I think I think uh, Roger is very supportive of Brie in a way he hasn't been this season. And I have to say, I, I'm admitting it, I think I might be a Roger fan in this season. Oh, good. Get in, Grishma. Get yeah, in. Yeah, I'm on the, oh, I'm on the Roger boat. Yeah, it well, does. Well, we're on it. No, <laughs> they are. I think they're both, I think because they're both settled much more this season in themselves, it allows them to be far more settled as a team. And yeah. like you said, once they've been kicked out the stones and they're in that time, I think they just feel so much pressure has therefore been taken off. They have no choice but to be here. And so they're going to make it work. And I think it's just made them a far more relaxed, less internally angsty version of themselves and thus it makes them a better team and it's especially with Jemmy there the dynamic with the three of them this season is just really beautiful and it does just feel like they've really got each other's backs and they're willing to make sacrifices for each other so Sophie I only have one more minute so I just want to ask this you know everyone's been clamoring for Jamie Claire and Brianna scenes what can you tease about that this season um this do you know what there's a lot of lovely scenes this season dinner table scenes just very settled family conversations um as to whether there's Jamie Claire and Brianna I can't actually remember um I hope so because they're always really nice but yeah I, do, I don't actually know Richard for you what we've actually only seen the first two so far so we're just as dark as everyone else in terms of what made it in the cut so I okay. haven't even lost two all right, well, we look forward to it. Richard, I didn't get a chance to ask you about your beard that has grown two sizes from last season and what kind of beard maintenance you do, but we'll talk about that another oh, time. Oh, <laughs> okay, All right, guys. Thanks so much. Congratulations <laughs> yeah, on this season. I'll see you later. Thank you. Always so good to talk to you. See you good soon. Good to talk to you. Bye.